For the past five years, I devoted myself to design a new form of electrode that can shift the paradigm around how we look at energy storage today. Electrodes are terminals where electrons can be exchanged to store or transfer energy. Majority of the energy storage devices today contain electrode materials that are solid. This has a significant impact on how we interact with energy storage devices today. If we could make electrode materials to flow, we could design energy storage systems with minimal environmental footprint and adapt scalable architectures that can meet the demands of the renewable energy future. In my labs at Drexel University, I work on developing slurry-based electrodes that use mixtures of salty water and carbon materials to store energy. My research begins at the AJ Drexel Nanomaterials Institute, where I utilize a variety of commercially available electrode materials to formulate slurries that can allow electrode particles to stay active while they are suspended in a salty solution. At the same time, I seek to create slurry formulations that have desirable flow properties. I look at the physical and chemical interactions between particles in the slurries and try to understand the strength and nature of electrochemical activity within the suspended particles. Once I determine slurry formulations with the highest activity and desired flow properties, I move over to the Electrochemical Energy Systems Laboratory, where I test the performance of my slurry electrodes in novel flow architectures. I spend a lot of time designing and manufacturing flow cells and integrated devices that can achieve the highest efficiency in utilizing slurry electrodes. I work with a team of engineers and scientists to develop prototype technologies that can unlock the potential of slurry electrodes for the energy industry. I believe that enabling energy storage materials to flow could disrupt the way we utilize electrodes today and help us design improved systems for storing and distributing energy in the future. And material science and engineering makes it possible. Thank you.